On the night of September 9, 2024, the Israeli Air Force conducted one of the most massive attacks on the territory of Syria. It is reported that three provinces of the Syrian Arab Republic were subjected to airstrikes at once. It is reliably known that the main target of the Israeli Air Force was the facilities of Syria's Scientific Studies and Research Center, also known as the Institute 4000 Research Center. My friends, let me remind you that for security purposes, the main facilities of this research center have been located in various provinces of the Syrian Arab Republic. In addition, all these strategically important facilities are carefully guarded by air defense systems and Syrian troops. This research center is known for closely coordinating with the Iranian military, producing components for such Iranian ballistic missiles as Fateh, Shahab-1, and Shahab-2. In addition, the specialists of this research center also produce a huge number of Birkin-1 missiles, which the Lebanese Hezbollah uses to attack IDF positions in the Middle East. Numerous sources in the Israeli Defense Forces admitted that by launching an airstrike on the facilities of Syria's Scientific Studies and Research Center, the Israeli military and political leadership were trying to disable one of the main manufacturers of missile systems for pro-Iranian Shiite groups. Immediately after this airstrike, Israeli officials announced dozens of eliminated pro-Iranian militants. At the same time, the Israeli authorities did not specify whether the Israeli warplanes managed to damage the facilities of Syria's scientific studies and research center. Against this backdrop, it is also worth paying attention to the statement of the Syrian side. In particular, Damascus officially stated that during the Israeli terrorist attack on three provinces of Syria, five civilians were killed, and about 20 people, including women and children, were seriously injured. At the same time, official Damascus did not say anything about the Israeli Air Force's airstrike on the facilities of Syria's Scientific Studies and Research Center, and the deaths of pro-Iranian militants. Meanwhile, on the morning of September 10, data began to appear on the destruction of one F-16 fighter jet of the Israeli Air Force. Moreover, on September 10, the reputable Syrian telegram channel, known for its numerous connections with the Syrian government and the country's Ministry of Defense, also confirmed this information. According to it, an Israeli F-16 was shot down over the Mediterranean Sea during the first wave of airstrikes on Syria. At the same time, it is also reported that during the airstrikes on Syria, Israeli fighter jets were once again in Lebanese airspace and hid behind passenger planes, to avoid a strike from the Syrian air defense systems. Most likely, the combat crew of the Syrian air defense system managed to calculate the right moment, and destroy the Israeli F-16 at the very moment when there were no passenger jets next to it. By the way, on that day, not only Israel suffered losses in the Middle East, but also the United States. As it turned out, on September 9, 2024, Yemen's Houthis destroyed another expensive American reconnaissance strike drone MQ-9 Reaper. According to Yemen's Houthis, an American reconnaissance strike drone was shot down in the airspace of Sada province, in northwestern Yemen. At the same time, it is worth noting that two days before, Yemen's Houthis shot down the same American reconnaissance strike drone MQ-9 Reaper in northern Yemen. Thus, over the past 72 hours, Yemen's Houthis have shot down two US MQ-9 Reaper reconnaissance strike drones. In total, since October 2023, with the outbreak of hostilities in the Gaza Strip, Yemen's Houthis have destroyed nine units of American reconnaissance strike drones. Given the fact that the cost of one MQ-9 Reaper drone is $30 million, and its filling consists of high-tech components, the loss of nine units of these drones by the American military within 10 months, caused significant financial and technological damage to the Pentagon. It is reported that Yemen's Houthis shot down American drones using surface-to-air missiles, which they produce in large quantities. 
However, many military experts and analysts are confident that Yemen's Houthis are using precisely Iranian missiles to destroy such high-tech targets as the American MQ-9 Reaper reconnaissance strike drones. By the way, Pentagon officials have not yet commented on the loss of two of their expensive drones in Yemeni airspace. Meanwhile, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, General Alexander Sersky, speaking to American journalists from CNN, officially admitted that on August 26, 2024, the F-16 fighter of the Ukrainian Air Force was shot down. At the same time, he noted that a few minutes before its destruction, the F-16 fighter managed to shoot down two Russian cruise missiles. According to him, the F-16 fighter was shot down while chasing a third Russian cruise missile. At the same time, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine refused to specify whether an enemy missile shot down the F-16, or it was friendly fire from the combat crew of the American Patriot Air Defense Missile System. Moreover, General Sersky also refused to answer the question of how many F-16 fighters Ukraine has left. Let me remind you that Russian sources, including numerous reputable experts, claim that on August 26, 2024, Ukraine lost two of its F-16 fighter jets. It is reported that one F-16 fighter, which was operated by Lt. Col. Alexei Mess, was destroyed by the latest Russian fighter jet Su-57M, and another F-16 was destroyed by a Russian ballistic missile at a military airbase in the city of Starokosti Antonov. The fact that one F-16, piloted by Lt. Col. Alexei Mess, was destroyed by a Russian fifth-generation fighter jet Su-57 was also confirmed by representatives of the Turkish intelligence community. Moreover, the influential American newspaper, The Wall Street Journal, citing its own sources in the Pentagon, also confirmed the information that the reason for the destruction of the F-16 fighter jet, which Ukrainian pilot Alexei Mess operated, was an enemy air-to-air -air missile that exploded a few meters from his combat aircraft. Whatever it was, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sersky, promised that Ukraine would not hide the details of the destruction of the F-16 fighter. General Sersky promised that Kiev would soon announce the results of the investigation into the crash of the F-16. According to him, Ukraine allegedly does not intend to hide the truth.